Today on our 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we'll be installing the Curt 2 inch receiver tube hitch. Part number 13432. This is what our hitch will look like once installed. Next, we're going to give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories from your hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the spare tire is 10 and a quarter inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is three and a quarter inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 20 and a quarter inches. Now we'll go ahead with the installation. Now to begin our install, we'll first go ahead and show you how the hardware will secure to the hitch. The bolt and flat washer will go through the hitch. It'll then go through the cross tube of the frame, back through the hitch where we'll secure it with a half inch flange nut. Let's go ahead and put the hitch in place, lining it up with the pre-drilled holes in the cross tube. Then we'll take the bolt, slide it above the muffler, and line it up with the pre-drilled holes in both the hitch and the cross tube, and feed it into position. We'll feed it all the way through the hitch on the other side, but not completely through, as we'll need to put our flange nut in place. I recommend to use a 3 quarter inch wrench to help hold the nut up into position while we thread the bolt in. Once we have one started, We'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other three attachment points. Once we have all our hardware in place, finger tight, we can go ahead and run it down. Then we'll torque to specifications as indicated instructions. Now with our hitch secured and torque specifications, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install, the Curt 2 inch receiver tube hitch, part number 13432. On our 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. 